Personally, I am not into skateboards. It may have to do with the fact that I absolutely cannot ride one without serious risk to my bodily integrity. But even if these things are not made for me and probably not for many of you either, I can still spot an amazing one when I see it. And the skateboard called Mach 1 has the makings of exactly such a ride. The Mach 1 is the work of a crew called Radium Performance, based in Melbourne, Australia. These guys describe themselves as the makers of next-level electric skateboards, and in a market that has plenty of products to choose from, that seems like quite a bold statement. For what it's worth, by the time you're done watching this, you might be inclined to say it's also a correct statement. From afar, the Mach 1 doesn't look special in any way. The design is as you'd expect from a skateboard, meaning a board propped on four wheels, and that's about it. But everything that went into making it, from the materials used to the technologies employed, truly seems next level. I'll start with the chassis of the Mach 1, and tell you that Radium claims it's a monocoque design derived from Formula 1. What it means is that it has been built in such a way that the load-bearing carbon fiber tub is bolted directly to the suspension, helping the skateboard cut down weight. Okay, to be fair, the setup is not derived from how Formula 1 cars are built, as that would require some F1 tech or know-how to be incorporated into the Mach 1. Seeing how that's not the case here, it's probably safer to say that F1 cars merely inspired the design of the skateboard. On top of the chassis radium fitted a 10-inch hollow carbon fiber composite deck. It comprises a pair of carbon fiber composite parts laminated with a urethane edge, which helps it tip the scales at just 1 kilo. If you study the images, you'll see the deck of the Mach 1 is a beautiful combination of black and red, with telltale fabric of carbon fiber somehow still visible. That is just one of the many ways the skateboard can be specced in. The deck is swappable one only needs to remove 8 screws, and can be replaced with whatever design its owner sees fit. On the opposite side of the chassis, facing the ground, is the skateboard suspension system. Unlike what one can traditionally find in a skateboard, the Mach 1 uses just one moving part, thanks to the fitting of single pivot swing arms, which supposedly are a first in the field of electric skateboards. The thing would have been useless without the wheels that get it moving. Shaped in a way that once again reminds of tech deployed in Formula 1, they are of the airless variety, and have been imagined in such a way as to turn tighter and provide more high-speed stability than anything else on the market. Or so Radium says. The steering system used for the wheels is again something that was never used in the skateboard world with so many options on the market, it's a claim that's next to impossible to confirm, as it uses torque vectoring. Called Radium Torque Steering, the tech independently controls each motor to steer the rear truck. It does so by providing more power or braking, depending on what's needed to the wheel that supports the most weight in a turn. Its use increases traction and should allow riders to power out of corners earlier. The RTS was not designed as a one-solution-fits-all, and it comes with plenty of settings and riding modes. Changing these can be done using the Mach 1 app, even on the fly. I mentioned the motors earlier, so I think it's about time we had a closer look at the things that keep this electric skateboard going. I'm talking about purpose-built pieces of hardware that are described as the most durable on the market. And they're quite punchy, too. Operating at 150 amps, the motors are enough to push and pull on the Mach 1 until it reaches a top speed of up to 45 miles per hour. The acceleration these things are capable of is tremendous, with the official numbers pointing to the platform being capable of reaching 30 miles per hour from a perfect standstill in 3 seconds or less. Provided one operates the thing's remote properly, of course. The 1089 watt-hour battery the motors use to get their juice is good for about 30 miles, and can be recharged to 90% capacity in as little as 2 hours when using the included 12 amps charger. The Mach 1 is a relative newcomer to the market, having first been introduced last year. It initially had a price sticker that read $4,490, but at the time this video was published, that was cut for some reason to just $3,330. Pretty expensive, yes, compared to what else is out there in this segment, but name a single other e-skateboard that has the potential of feeling like a purpose-built Formula 1 car for your feet, 